So in this equation, it's not in standard form, but I can already see that I have numbers in front of the x squared and the y squared terms, which tells me if I graph this, it's going to be either an ellipse or a hyperbola. So what we wanna do is we wanna group our numbers together. So I wanna have my four x squared, just like before, minus eight x, with that you know blank piece there. And then I'm going to have my nine y squared and my 36 y and my blank. Now what's different here is that I have numbers in front of the parentheses. I mean in front of the, the squared term. So the way I fix that is I factor it out. So I'm gonna factor a four out of here. And remember, when you're factoring a number out, it's the same as division. So 4 divided by 4 is 1, which is why this becomes x squared. 8 divided by 4 is 2, which is why this becomes 2x. And then I still have my blank hanging out. Then I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to factor that 9 out. 9 divided by 9 is just going to be 1. And then I'm going to factor out um, 9 here and that's gonna give me four y, and I'm still gonna have my blank, and I'm still gonna have my negative four. Now I'm gonna follow the process of completing the square. So I'm gonna take that negative two, I'm gonna divide it by two, and I'm going to square it, which is gonna be negative one squared or one. So this becomes x squared minus two x plus one, and then I'm gonna add one to the other side. So I've got my negative four, and I added one here, and I added one there to keep it balanced. Now I have my y squared, and I've got a four in front of the y, so I'm gonna do four divided by two and square it, which gives me four. So then I'm going to add four to both sides. Then remember that handy factoring trick. So if I look at this number, it's going to factor to that number squared. If I look at this number, it's going to factor to that number squared. And then once I've added my factors here, and when I add them to the other side, I have to also account for this four and this nine that's in front. So I'm actually doing negative four plus four times one plus nine times four because the nine and the four, I have that factored and the four and the one. So that's why this is four times one and nine times four. It's just an extra piece of the step here. And so that equals 36. So this kind of looks like the equation of, of a circle right now, except that I have numbers in the top and I have numbers in the bottom. And so when I want to get to an ellipse or a hyperbola, you're gonna look at the number that's over here and that number needs to equal one. So you're gonna divide everybody by that number. So I'm gonna divide this by 36, I'm gonna divide this by 36, and I'm gonna divide this by 36, which is going to leave me with x minus one squared the four and the 36 are gonna cancel, and I'm gonna have a nine because 36 divided by four is nine. Then I'm going to have the nine and the 36 cancel, which is going to give me four. And then I'm gonna have it equal to one, and here is my ellipse in standard form. I'm gonna go ahead and do a second video of this because I do feel like this process is a little more complex at times. So we'll have a second video to watch for you to look at a different example of how to do an ellipse.